Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you all are having an awesome day. And if you are, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the time that I almost got arrested. And that might sound kind of weird because, you know, I'm kind of young. Wouldn't think that I've been almost arrested before, but I told a lot of my friends about this and they all call me stupid for it. So I thought that I would share it with you guys because you love, you know, story times that I share with you guys. Like the time I almost died and, you know, all that good stuff. So you guys seem to like them a lot. So let me know if you want to hear more stories about my boring life. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. Oh my god, dear god, it is bright outside. But I thought that I would share it with you guys outside because it's such a really nice day and it's so damn bright I can't even see. But yeah, I'm wearing my work shirt and my hair is not even done because I'm going to work. So I'm like, yo, why the hell would I mess with my hair? Here's my pool. It still needs some work and you know, it's really kind of dirty. So I don't know why I'm showing you this. But yeah, there's a bunch of sand in the bottom still. And you know, we're still working on getting it clean. And there's some rafts, but you know, there's my pool I mean thought you guys should know that I have a pool but anyway let's get straight into the video so the time I almost got arrested all right guys so I do apologize if you can hear the cars going up and down my road like I said in the millions of my videos the cars go up and down the road 24 7 I can't really do anything about it so I'm gonna try my best to edit it out but when there's big trucks like the one that's just going by right now when there's big trucks like that just going by my house I can't really Know, get rid of the noise so I hope it doesn't get too annoying but I do know it gets annoying because when I'm editing my videos I'm like dude what the hell I'm trying to make a video here but you know it's okay so the time I almost got arrested okay so we were well I was in seventh grade and I went to visit my dad because you guys didn't know I don't live with my dad if you guys want to know about that story just let me know in the comments or just drop a like on the video but yeah I don't live with my dad and you know I started to visit my dad more when I was in fifth grade so this was in seventh grade though I went to visit my dad and I was like dad we gotta do something together you know we never really do anything we used to play video games but we didn't really you know play video games anymore so uh, he was like you know what let's go to Walmart and let's look at BB guns and I was like a BB gun aren't those illegal cuz you know I didn't really know much about guns cuz you know I was younger and all that stuff but yeah he went and we bought a little handgun pistol and we also bought a rifle so the rifle was like it was a really cool rifle it had camo on it I don't even know what it was called but yeah we got a pistol and we got a rifle and you know we got some targets and we went into his backyard and we shot some cans and some boxes with the targets on it and you know I thought it was really fun I would beg him 24 7 hey dad let's please go shoot the BB gun we could only do it towards the nighttime because we live next to neighbors and you know they wouldn't really you know like it when we shot BB guns but we shot BB guns like literally from like 6 o'clock to like 9 o'clock every single night because I just begged him. We kept having to go to the store to get more, you know, BBs for our guns. And, you know, it was just so much fun. I had so much fun doing it. But then, you know, it was time for me to leave and I was really sad. I always used to get really sad before I left my dad's house because we would always have so much fun. And now, you know, he doesn't even barely, you know, visit me or call me. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I begged him to let me take home the BB gun. And him and I both know that, you know, my grandmother wouldn't let me really, you know, have a BB gun because she'd always get mad at me if I told her that you know we shot BB guns and stuff like that so I snuck the rifle into my trunk of the car and you know she didn't know and then when I got home about two hours after I got home I finally told her that dad got me a BB gun and it's in the trunk of the car and she was kind of furious she was mad at first and she's like okay well you're only gonna be able to shoot it if I'm out there watching you or your grandfather's out there watching you and I'm like okay okay so uh, one day you know they weren't home and I was like yes let me go outside and let me go shoot that BB gun and I went outside with the rifle and I shot some targets and I found some broken or not broken old jars in my you know cabin on my back porch so I was like you know what let's shoot some glass and this is where it starts getting out of hand so I started to shoot some glass it was just so soothing of the BB hitting the glass and the glass just shattering I just loved it so much so then here we go guys here we go and then you know I ran out of the glass to shoot and you know I didn't want to shoot any paper targets okay I really didn't want to shoot any paper targets so uh, yeah I decided to uh, or I decided to go inside my house and then shoot or not shoot I decided to go into my house get some old jars or old cups that you know I didn't think my grandmother really wanted anymore and you know I decided to take them outside set them up and I decided to shoot those glasses and you know dumb me you know I never really cleaned up the glass so there's just glass laying all over my backyard and uh, it was kind of it was kind of interesting okay it was kind of 
of interesting. I just love the glass sitting there. So after I got done shooting that glass, I was like, okay, so if I shoot any more glass in my house, then my grandmother would notice that some of her, you know, jars are missing or some of them or some of her cups are missing and then this is where I get the dumbest idea ever so if you guys want to laugh at me I give you permission if you guys want to call me stupid in the comments I give you permission <sighs> what was my seventh grade self thinking okay so basically I decided to go around my house and I decided to shoot my neighbor's car window with my BB gun yes you heard it I decided to shoot aim and shoot a BB gun at my neighbor's car window. I didn't think the glass was gonna break, okay? I didn't think the window was gonna break, okay? I thought it was gonna bounce off and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, the glass shattered. Like, it shattered instantly, and I was so scared. I literally was, like, frozen for a second. I dropped the BB gun, and I ran inside, but then I was like, oh, shoot, I gotta go get it. I go grab the BB gun, and I, like, hit it under my pool. I don't know if... I'll probably show it to you guys later, but... I hid it under my pool because you can't really see anything under there. I hid my BB gun and you know I went inside. My grandmother got home. I was still nervous. And you know, like 10 minutes after my grandmother got home, I was looking, like I was literally in my room staring out my window at across the street. Let me show you guys real quick. Alright guys, so right over there, that is where the neighbor's car was, like right along that little path right there. So that is the house that I shot. Please don't come and rest me now, please. And there's my little dog. Hey, lady, how are you doing? I'm just, you know, sharing at the time that I almost, you know, got arrested. But sadly, you weren't with me at the time, lady. I didn't get you. But, yeah. So that is where they lived. And, you know, it's kind of scary. So I saw her walking out of her house to go into her car. And when she got to her car, the window that was broken was the window on the driver's side and yeah it was the window on the driver's side and uh, she just stood and she was frozen for like a good two minutes and i was like oh my god she knows <laughs> yeah how could she not know right but yeah she was there she was like freaking out like she was in shock she opened the car and this is what they thought happened okay they thought someone tried to rob them by breaking their car window and trying to steal out of their car that is what they thought until this day i think that is what they you know thought happened they never thought that a you know a seventh grade or like a 13 year old kid was shooting at their car with a bb gun but yeah they thought that someone robbed they called the cop and the cops were outside of their house for a good 30 minutes to an hour and uh they the cops eventually this is what scared me they came to my house and they were asking my grandmother questions and stuff like that of course I was a young boy I was up in my room just scared out of my mind but they were asking my grandmother's questions and uh, the questions were like did you see anyone at this time or did you notice anything unusual my grandmother was like no and when the cops left my grandmother like called my name and I came downstairs and my grandma was like hey Nathan did you see anybody you know try to rob them or break into their car and I was just like I was so shocked I was like oh my god it was me it was me but I didn't really rob them so I was like, no, I didn't see anyone and shit, okay. And then we went to Wendy's, okay. I was walking out of my house and across the street where the cops still. They were looking at me kind of weird. Well, I thought they were looking at me kind of weird. But we went to Wendy's and the whole time I was scared out of my mind. And then when we came back, the cops were gone. I'm like, oh my God, I will never tell anybody this. I will not be arrested. I will not have to pay the fine for their car. And thankfully, none of that ever happened. So yeah, guys, that is the story of the time I almost got arrested. Shout out my neighbor's car window. The cops came to my house asking a bunch of questions. But luckily, nothing ever happened to me because I wouldn't be, you know, sitting here, you know, telling a story to you guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know if anything like this happened to you or if you guys did anything illegal and you almost got caught. Let me know in the comments down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. My name is Nathan, and uh, you know, stay awesome, guys. I love you all. See you later.